Hi everyone. Today, um, I just want to go through what is currently going on in Gondo State. Um, currently, um, if you know that um, Dr. Akhir Dulu um, is not feeling very well, and um, currently we heard that um, he's going through uh, one or two treatments, which also is online at the moment in time. So my prayers to the man is that uh, I pray that he get well soon. Um, he's a very, very, very remarkable uh, man, and um, going through that time of uh, treatment, um, I, I, I would like us to continue to pray that uh, God will continue to touch him. God will continue to heal him. I pray, Lord, that the hands of God will not be parted away from him. Um, he's a very remarkable uh, person. Um, now, and we love from those states. And uh, uh, we just pray that uh, during this time of the during this time of the year, everything that is currently going through, uh, that uh, it will find God will find a way to take all the sickness out of his life. And uh, bring him back to his normal life that he has been ordained by God. And uh, Nigeria, just let us continue to pray for this remarkable man yeah, so that he will get well soon. And uh, we also know that uh, currently, uh, because of Ake Dulu's illness, uh, we still currently have crisis in the state. But what we also heard that uh, the Current president, President Bola Abetunumbo, have invited the, the deputy governors um, to come to Asuro for an urgent meeting. That was on Monday yesterday. Uh, over the daily governor, Akele Dulu, uh, due to the state crisis, leadership crisis that is currently going on in that, con in that state. And uh, we know this is a very urgent song. The president wants the deputy governor and the state half of an assembly speaker, Olami Dele, Ola DJ, to Asura in Abuja for urgent meetings. And the person, the president will ask that uh, the deputy should be allowed to act as a governor to resolve the leadership crisis in the state. And what we also know that uh, this arrangement will not prevent a constitutional crisis and it will not require the alien governor, Rotimi Akele, the to resign. Even though it is ill and is unable to perform the responsibility requirement of his office for many months. Um, according to what we know in the Constitution of Nigeria, as amended in 1999, that uh, the president or a sitting governor is completely healed, incapacitated, or fit, or uh, is going through a severe ailment that will make it impossible or capable for him to continue his uh, constitutional duties uh, for that state. Uh, that means he can either resign uh, or allow the deputy governors to take over. But what we also know currently that uh, uh, that uh, even the, we also know from the human rights activists, uh, she were allowed that the sharing of the town hall meetings and the past protests for Saturday in Akure to call on the alien government after the release to either return to office or resign. Uh, the Mayans meeting will be a second one summoned by the president to resolve the leadership crisis. In the following, the governor absent from the office since July 2023. And what we know that the call for that meeting came after two weeks. After Tulumbu met with over 50 persons, including Aye Datua, East and his aide of Governor Akiri Dulu and the state commissioners, the party uh, chairman, and on some elders of the state in November 26. 
But what we know that two noble someone will just be deputy governor and the house speaker to another urgent meetings after Shewele announced mass protests and town hall meetings in Akure. And one of the top source parties previously to the invitations that the emergency meeting is to be held in Ashura on the Monday and is aimed by two noble is to ask the deputy governor to allow to access the government. And what we also know from Shewere is that uh, Shewere insists that nothing short of Akere Rudu's is admission of the office will be deemed to be acceptable. Akere Rudu's sons, Baba Jide, who was also appointed by the governor in November 2021 as a director general of the Performance and Project Implementations Monitoring Unit, office and the governor of the Rudu State, was one of those present at November's meetings. And what we also know that uh, the pro democratic organizations take it back movement. Uh, we organized the town hall meetings in Akure on Saturday, on December 16, to call for the governor Akere to, re to resume office or resign. And we also know that this event will make the commencement of the street protest to call for the resignation of the leading governors, who has not been set foot in the states since July 2023. But what we also know that uh, the uh, the Shawara, which is the candidate of the African Action Congress in 2019, as well as the presidential aspirant in 2023 elections, on Sunday also called on Governor Kerry to decide or perform his constitutional duty as the governor of Ondo State or issue reserve. And he also went on Twitter, uh, the Arabic, to disclose that there will be a town hall meetings at the beginning of the street protests in Akure, the state capitals across the state on December 16th to demand Akere the rules and missions. And there will be a town hall meetings according to what she was said at the beginning of the street protests in Akure. And any person of conscience are invited and according to the prior announcing this event, the town hall meeting organized by Take It Back Movement, teams at the Road reside, resumes or resigned will be held by noon on Saturday, December 16. Uh, but what we know about this breakdown is that uh, Akere Lulu is a senior advocate of Nigerians. Uh, we know he's a former president of Nigerian Bar Associations. He won his free elections as a state government in the state 2020 and was sworn in for second term in office February. However, the governor's second term since July 2023 has not been a smooth sailing, and it has to be fuel abroad for treatment for over elected positions. Now, what we also know that uh, Akinu was suffering from COVID. Uh, the governor of Ondo State, uh, Ruti Nakeda, asked Kamenia and is really down one of the sources According to what we do, uh, we know that what's that uh, amenia is a blood cancer disease by rise in the numbers of white blood cells in the body. And the family has been kept keeping its health status hush hush to maintain their grip on the affairs of the state. And what we are seeing like is that from the son, Rabbi Gideon, is the director general of the performance and project implementation unit. Of the governor of the state. And we also know that a 67 year old polit politician returned to Nigeria in September after three months medical leave in Germany, but has been pop up in Ibadan, the Oyo state capitals. And I feel that that has been under intense pressure from the opposition party to resign or hand over power to the deputy in line with 1999 constitutions. And we know that the hailing has defended his actions and inability in action, saying that he could govern the state from anywhere. But we also know from the report, uh, the Associate of Forensic Performance of Nigeria has confirmed that the hailing governor signature was forged on an official document. So that's one of the things we receive as well. And what we also know that uh, uh, Someone for the certificate signed by Mr. Uno Katuna Tanka, who stated there are strong indications that the actions of the known uh, specific 
handwritings or signatures. Unknown document marked KK did not write the question signatures on the question document. So that's one of the allegations that also came out as well. And there is also an investigation that was by the State Commissioner for Energy and Mineral Resources, uh, Rashad Mude, who wrote to the Deputy Governor, Bucky Ali Datu Wa, confirming the forgery of Akiri Dulu's signatures and an official document relating to his ministry. And in a commissioner letter on Friday, titled Forgeries of Mr. Akiri Dulu's signatures, an official document dated December 17th. And also, I wrote to bring you to your attention as a critical matters and require immediate actions. It has been confirmed that the signature of Mr. Kerkudulu on the certain document has been forged. That was coming from the uh, Commissioner for the Energy. And irregularities in the signatures were also observed uh, when the files from my ministry was returned to the office of the Secretary of the State Governors. And there is only one file that has been returned so far. Out of the five, five files that were sent for Mr. Governor Hoover about two months ago, upon the close uh, inspections, I noticed significant differences between the suspicious signatures and the handwritings. And Mr. Governor's no signatures and handwritings in the files. Then, concerned about the gravity of the situation, I decided to seek a forensic reviews before disclosing my discovery. I sent the suspicious signature and writing samples and copies of the old regular, uh, regular signatories of the forensic expert, who have now confirmed that the suspected signatures and handwritings were indeed forged. Despite the inherited risk involved, I have chosen to fulfill the obligation of our office by reporting this alarming development to you as the highest ranking members of the State Executive Council after Mr. Governor firmly believe that this is the cause of actions of our extinct leaders, Laura Kumi, Umuwa, Ratuma, Akele Dubu, we take in a situation. And we're considering that the possibility that shows for this may be widespread. This head of, of ultimate importance to the government and the people of the new state. I've attached a copy of the forensic report and relevant pages for the five of your reference. So this is currently going on in the state, forgeries of certificate. And Kerry the Rule uh, is not feeling well. Uh, it's going through one or two ailments. Uh, currently in Abuja, in one of the hospitals in Abuja, uh, inability for him to perform a state duty constitutionally uh, because he's currently not feeling very well. And uh, the current president asked the the deputy currently to take over the Helms affairs of the Ogundo State, um, so that Ogundo State will be continue to be governed constitutionally. And we also have uh, a show where uh, one of the human rights activists uh, have already organized a project on December 16, uh, just to show solidarity uh, to the people of Ogundo State that actually know Either resigned or I feel the move to either continue. So, uh, this is one of the things that's going on at this moment in time. Um, I, my own advice to Mr. Akil, he knows the time of performance. His health is very important and his powers of the state. Um, his health is very important at these times of his life. And we, 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 we continue to pray for him for him to recover. Um, to me, I just think that it's time for him to just go relax and take over his health and come back to be a better person because there's no point of continuing to fight these battles when you know you cannot act to the full flesh of your health at this moment in time. So, hope you guys enjoy this uh, information that's coming to the state and I will see you in the next news. I love you guys. Take care. All the best. And... Uh, See you in the next news. Bye for now. And please don't forget to share YouTube channel, subscribe to our channels for more news of what's going on in the country. Don't forget to take it back for now.